Maybe your SP told you that it's never going to happen, that they hate you and that they no longer have feelings for you. Here's how you can change their mind. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can change your SP's mind and manifest the version of them that you prefer. But first, if you would like to get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to help you manifest anything you desire, you can sign up for coaching below. I also offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, that is very accessible that you can get instant access to by also clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. How to change your SP's minds and feelings towards you. So it's first about understanding why is it that you're currently experiencing the version of your SP that doesn't love you, that doesn't want to commit to you, and that doesn't want to be with you? Why is this in your reality? This is always because of the current assumptions that you hold. So you might have a story right now that says, my SP hates me, my SP doesn't love me, my SP is a player, my SP is not ready for commitment. Or you might have a really low self-concept, meaning the way that you see yourself in general when it comes to love and relationships is unfavorable. So you might have stories that say, I am not lovable, nobody loves me, I'm not worthy of love, I'm not pretty enough, or I'm not smart enough. So one of these two things is always the reason why you are currently experiencing the version of your SP that doesn't love you or that doesn't want to be with you. It's always because of the current assumptions that you are holding. So the idea is that you want to flip this around. You want to change your assumptions. And you do this by beginning to tell a new story. So for example, let's say that you begin to affirm, my SP loves me, we're in a happy, committed relationship, my SP adores me, I'm always prioritized, I'm always chosen. As you persist in this new story and you saturate your subconscious mind with this new story so that it becomes dominant within you, your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this in your 3D reality. This is when you will manifest the version of your SP that you desire. This is when your SP will have a change of mind and a change of heart. It begins with you first changing your story about your SP. So let's take a closer look at how this works. Every time you're affirming, my SP loves me, my SP adores me, my SP is in a happy, committed relationship with me, you are simply selecting that version of your SP from the quantum field that already thinks and feels this way about you. And as you keep persisting in this new story, you're simply selecting that version of your SP over and over and over and over again until it becomes dominant within you. And when that occurs, you will experience this specific version of your SP in your 3D reality. Your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this in your 3D reality. Now in the 3D, what this will translate to is at first, your SP will have a change of mind and a change of heart. So when you begin to affirm, your SP will begin to think and feel in accordance to what it is that you have been affirming. Even if you don't see any movement of it in the 3D, rest assured they are thinking and feeling in accordance to what it is that you are affirming. Now you might be wondering, okay, well, when is it that they will act on my affirmations? Well, again, this is in your control. As you keep persisting in your affirmations, no matter what, your SP will then feel compelled to act on it. This is when they will approach you and act in accordance to what it is that you have been affirming. So the way that it works is that first your SP will have a change of mind and a change of heart, and then they will feel compelled to act on it. Now, sometimes people think, but isn't it manipulation? If your SP told you they don't want to be with you and you begin to affirm that they love you, it's manipulation. Well, let's talk about the version of your SP that doesn't love you, that doesn't want to be with you. Well, the only reason why that's in your reality is because of your old assumption. It's because of your old story. The story where you were saying, my SP hates me, my SP doesn't love me, I suck at love, I'm not lovable. That is the only reason 
why you're experiencing the version of them that doesn't want you. So that would mean that you manipulated them to not love you. Well, that doesn't make sense. That's not how it works. You are always dictating, curating, and deciding the version of your SP that you experience in your 3D reality through your assumptions. Your SP does not have free will in your reality. I'm not going to go into this in detail. I have another video of that on my channel. Your SP does not have free will in your reality that you can watch to gain a better understanding of this. But effectively, you are always the one deciding the version of your SP that you experience in your 3D reality through the story that you are telling. When you change your story, your SP will have a change of mind and a change of heart. Now to go into this on a deeper level, technically you're not really changing your SP's mind. You are simply selecting a different version of your SP that already thinks and feels and acts in accordance to what it is that you are affirming. The version of your SP that doesn't want you and that doesn't love you, that will still exist in a specific timeline, but you will no longer be able to experience that timeline because you've changed your story. You now have a different assumption. So you now are going to be in the timeline that is reflective of your new assumption around your SP. Now in the 3D, it translates to your SP had a change of mind and a change of heart. But in reality, you simply selected a different version of your SP. So to recap, the key to changing your SP's mind and feelings towards you is all about affirming a new story. When you begin to affirm, my SP loves me, my SP adores me, I am so worthy of love, my SP always prioritizes me. When you begin to affirm this new story and saturate your subconscious mind with this new story so that it becomes dominant within you, your subconscious mind has to produce proof of this in your 3D reality. This is when you will change timelines and you will begin to experience the timeline that is reflective of your new assumption. You're never really changing your SP's mind, you're simply selecting a different version of them. However, in the 3D, this will translate to your SP has had a change of mind and a change of heart. When you begin to affirm your new story, your SP will first begin to think and feel in accordance to what you've been affirming. And as you persist in this new story, your SP will then feel compelled to act on what it is that you have been affirming. And this is how you can manifest the version of your SP that you desire. This is how you can change what they think and feel about you. You are always deciding what your SP thinks and feels about you and how they treat you through your assumptions. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful day or a wonderful evening. Mwah.